Hey Taurus, this is your weekly reading from December 3rd through December the 9th, 2018 for all Taurus suns, moons, and risings. Also, if you are a Taurus on the house cusp, we're going to look at six cards today. How you see yourself today, Taurus. What is the theme for you this week? What is the big picture? Um, something that you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember. A challenge. Oops, let me just turn my heater off. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. I have my heater on a setting where it'll, it'll just come on randomly. So let's see. A lesson you are learning now, Taurus, and a gift you will receive this week. What is going on for Taurus? December 3rd through December 9th, 2018. All Taurus suns, moons, and risings, and Taurus is on the house cusp. Show me their six cards for the week. Guys, if you're interested in booking a 2019 year ahead forecast, I do have those up on my website. I believe they are 50 minutes for $59. And what I do is give you um, an overview of each month, what are the major themes and challenges for each month of the year going forward in 2019, and the overall theme or challenge for the year ahead. And of course, you can ask personal questions, like for example, uh, will I meet someone uh, that I will fall in love with? Will I, um, when is a good month for me to take a vacation? When is a good month for me to invest, etc. I, I offer phone, Skype, and uh, pre-recorded readings for those. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I do have openings. This month, I did open up my December schedule, so feel free to book. At your convenience, links below in the description. Okay, Taurus, one more for you, Taurus. December 3rd through December 9th, 2018, for all Taurus suns, moons, and risings. Right at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So the underlying theme or challenge of this reading is someone can be taking a vacation. Also, this is about needing to rest, rest the mind. You know, um, someone can be doing a lot of thinking about something. Here she's taking a bubble bath. So definitely, um, just time to breathe, relax, rest, rest your mind. If you have a tired mind, it is definitely a good week for you to do some auric cleansing. I do recommend like soaking in Epsom salts or clarifying salts. That'll help clear your aura. Also, I really do recommend um, meditation to everyone. Meditation, yoga, anything that will help kind of clear your mind. Um, maybe just take a day off. One, a day off from work or something if you can. All right. Let's take a look at your cards here. How you see yourself today, Taurus? We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So this can be some delays in travel. Uh, maybe things are not happening as quickly as you would like. If you're waiting for a message, if you're waiting for, for example, communication, uh, that you may not want to wait for that. You may not want to wait for the surprise, is what I'm saying. Um, also, here, this is the Sagittarius card, and uh, this definitely means things happening quickly, and so with it reversed, it can mean that there's a delay or a block in things happening quickly. Also, you could be dealing with some difficulty with regards to blocked communications. Okay, so either you're blocking communications or the person you're dealing with, potentially a Sagittarius, is blocked blocking communications. Um, yeah, this definitely has to do with communications most of the time, like messaging. So something to look out for this week. Um, also, I, I see for some of you could be a little impatient um, because you really do want to get something off the ground here, but um, things may just be taking a little bit longer. We do have Mercury in retrograde right now, so 
there's definitely going to be, you know, there'll be plenty of opportunities for issues around communications this month. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Mercury and Sag could definitely be throwing a wrench into some of your plans. Uh, a theme for you this week in the big picture is the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. Some of you can be dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is my Pisces card. Um, <clears throat> what can we say about the King of Cups in reverse? Either you're dealing with a man who is emotionally unavailable or this is your energy. If you happen to have like a Scorpio Cancer Pisces or a Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, something like that in your chart. Um, I feel here with the King of Cups in reverse, this person can also have intense negative feelings, intense negative emotions. They can also shut down. Um, this can also be a type of person that drinks. They might have an alcohol problem. Um, they may also just be shutting down emotionally because they, they really feel empty inside. They really feel like they have nothing to give. His cup is, is uh, overturned here. Um... So there's definitely a, a theme here around a person. Now because it's a king, it's likely someone that you know. Someone that you know. Um, normally when he comes in the upright position, the king of cups is someone who's very loving. Um, you know, still waters run deep with this type of person. Um, he's very loving and compassionate. He can be a father figure, someone that is usually... Usually someone you can go to and talk to, and he's a, a healing type, you know, the kind that has the blue aura around him. He's got all this blue, blue water. So he really is someone that usually feels very comfortable in the realm of emotions, but I'm seeing that's not the case uh, for some reason. Let me take a look. Uh, this could also be a Scorpio male, but I'm definitely getting maybe like a Pisces energy. Um, I'm seeing this person is scared or has a lot of fears, and uh, they can be repressing a lot of their emotions. Now, we do have that Mars in Pisces right now, which is definitely not an easy placement or a natural placement for Mars. And in fact, Mars really does not like to be in Pisces. So if you have any Pisces in your chart, this could definitely be the part of uh, the reason here, or you're dealing with someone like this. Okay, so something that you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember. And we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So the Knight of Swords in reverse is someone that can uh, rush into things. You know, he kind of will speak before he thinks. This can also be the robo-texter caller. Someone that is just too aggressive when it comes to verbal communication. Also... This can be someone who is holding back with words and speech, someone that is always thinking before they say something. They're biting their tongue. They may be uh, thinking about not communicating, holding back with communication. So it can be the opposite, the extreme. Um, so this is something that you've already learned. Oops, sorry about that. So possibly um, some of you were dealing with someone who was like the Knight of Swords in reverse in your past or... Uh, this can also be a suggestion that you need to kind of think before you put communications out there. Watch what you say, right? Um, because sometimes, like I said, this is someone who is uh, more conscientious. Now, at other times, you might have learned what happens when you kind of just speak what is ever on your mind. Uh, a lot of times with um, the Sagittarius, Mercury and Sagittarius, we have a retrograde going on. People just have a tendency, it's like verbal, uh, it's just like stuff coming out. You're not supposed to say it, but you just say it, whatever's on your mind. So if this is something you've already learned, you, you probably already know what happens when you do this. Um, being very careful about how you say things, who you say things to, what you say. Um, possibly it can be about releasing information before it's, you know, it's premature, so... Uh, there's a there's a lesson here about that type of energy. So, however that resonates for you, Taurus. A challenge you are going to face this week is the Page of Wands. So again, 
if you're dealing, you could be dealing with a younger fire sign here, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This seems to be around messaging because I'm getting a lot of um, stuff here about communication. So your challenge is the Page of Wands, possibly dealing with a younger fire sign. I feel like this person does want to send you a message. But they're very immature, though, it's, and they're very excitable. And they kind of don't really think before they speak. They don't really, you know, think about the consequences of things. This can even be a younger child, if you have a younger fire sign child here. Um, yeah, but I'm looking at all the flames here and all the, <laughs> the apples. So this person's very sweet, but they're also very fiery. They're also very, they're very wholesome. They're very flirtatious. So you may have a hard time, for example, uh, holding back from this type of person or, or even receiving messages and communication from someone like this. But I do feel like, yeah, I, I do feel like they're coming into your life this week. Um, and also, you might be receiving some communication from this person, this energy. Okay, a lesson you are learning now. We have the Ten of Cups. Uh, so this is about that happy home and family, you know, emotional security. Um, what else am I saying? The rainbow to me is, is really about healing. Everything getting kind of pulled together in a, in a really beautiful way. So I think you're learning this week about what happiness is for you. What constitutes as a happy home and family. What uh, makes you really happy in terms of your emotional security? I'm looking at all these cups and they're all filled here. So you're learning about, you know, what what is your ideal for happiness? What is it that you really want? What is your standard, you know? Um, because sometimes this can be a bit of a fairy tale. You know, the Ten of Cups is, is not always realistic to attain that kind of happiness. But I feel in your case, you know, you're really learning what does, what does make you feel like that. This is kind of your goal here. And so, um, yeah, I, I see this as really positive. This can even be feeling very grateful for your home and family. Um, and uh, the kind of uh, doing the kind of things that make you feel this way. So a gift to will receive this week and we have the King of Swords. So some of you, if you're consulting with a doctor or a lawyer or someone in the armed forces, um, you're going to be speaking with someone like that or dealing with someone like that. Because I'm seeing an air sign here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who's very strong. Um, they're, they're very much an intellectual and someone that is very knowledgeable, very strategic. This is the kind of person that can give you very direct advice. They're very objective, very logical, you know, they, they're just all about reason. They don't really put emotion into things or they keep their emotions distant. So it could also be that you're learning how to be more objective, more logical. Um, you're able to kind of pierce through communications and get to the truth right away. Um, your gift may be one of being very strategic. Um, I, I definitely feel like this is your energy, though, and or a father figure here coming into the picture. Because I'm seeing that this person is actually really good with children, but he's very smart. He's very smart. Um, so this could even be like a doctor or a pediatrician or, or someone, like I said, who is is really interested in getting to the facts really interested in communicating, um, but he's more emotionally distant though. I do see love here. I do see love, but he's, you have like a knight, a king, and another king in your reading and a page. So this can be the father of your children, if you have children, or this can also be someone here who I feel like they do mean well. Um, they mean well. Uh, and they've been through a lot, you know, just like the Queen of Swords has been through a lot. Um, so I'm kind of getting the sense here that 
yeah, you, you're learning how to really protect the things that you love and stand up for yourself. Um, also, your gift may be receiving uh, someone like this in your life who can be an advocate for you, who can give you really good, straightforward advice, um, and a very knowledgeable person, a, a true intellect, I would say. So it does look very good. Um, you may even be receiving some communications from this type of person. I do feel like this person loves you, though. Because I see the roses here, and, and he's holding the child. So this can even be someone that is helping you to deliver a child or uh, a doctor of some kind. And I really feel like he, he's there for you, Taurus. He wants to be there for you. And um, even though he might be cold or distant, um, this is someone that does have your best interests in mind because he's coming up in the upright. All right, Taurus, that is your weekly forecast. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.